Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review, and this one is on Lord Va Vladik and King Matthias from 2005, of course. So, on the front of the casters, which, same casters as the rest of the figures of this wave, of course. And have the Lego logo, Knight's Kingdom logos, picture of the sets that come within, and the names down below, and three game cards included and also have the Lego logo again and age group set number I'm out of pieces and the other side which joking hazards of course <coughs> and on the backs of each one is the Lego Knights Kingdom logos again and picture of the figures again and also, both of their features, how to put them back at the canister, and also add for the four and five other figures of the wave, of course. And also the Lego logo again, set number, and where, where components are made. And also a trademark Lego group and barcode, of course, and yeah. And that is it with the canister. And now onto the instruction manuals, which same picture as on the front of the canisters and everything, but a little bit more extended, of course. But I'll show with just one, as you see. We have all the figures of the wave, and also so the last building steps and the features. And also this little comic strip on how, of the, how the storyline goes on. Then how to win on the online survey, and then add for the minifigure sets that were available in summer 2005, of course, in which I previously reviewed on Throwback Thursdays, but yeah. And now, but also included with one of them is this little tutorial of how to play the card game of it. And so now if you want to read this, pause the video. And on the back side, same thing, but in different language. Also, pause the video and read. And also you get these three cards, so which just about like the previous year's ones. And of course, different ones of that, of course. And the first of which is this year's version of Vladic, of course. But from first glance, the color scheme which is quite the same as with uh, Stronius from Glatorian Legends Line of Bionicle, and also a bit of Core Hunter in Hero Factory Breakout, of course. But, oh wait, that was in light red. This is dark red, of course. And also, almost like the previous version of Vladic, of course, but a little more red to him. And as for the legs of which, as you can see, pretty much about similar to the other knights figures of this line, but he which has dark red feet, just like what Sir Santa's once had or done it. Or, I mean, this dark red feet is just to him, of course. But also the newer armor pieces as the rest, but in uh, black, quite nice. And above is kind of similar uh, armoring techniques to him like the previous Vladic did. But an upper leg piece in dark gray, of course. But the ratcheted joint fits in black, quite 
good for that. And that's for the uh, body piece of it. All in dark red this time around, but with the scorpion symbol added to him quite quite nicely. And legs of it, or for the arms of it, just the same as the other figures of this wave, of course. But with dark red for the hands and the armor piece in black, of course. And also this quite nice sword piece, quite all in black and quite evil looking, of course. But yeah. And almost, well, but not as much evil looking as, say, a, the previous Vladic did, was. And as for the shield bit, which, which I do think might have came in some of the mini fig playsets, I'm not sure, but yeah. But, but also, almost like the previous, like the other ones, which with the eight studs in the center of the scorpion, and uh, and symbol that's etched onto it, and also three other studs as well. And as for the head and mask, which as you can see, from first glance, a little bit different than the last Vladic, of course. And also with the dark red and black mixed in quite nicely, and same exact uh, head and face print as the other version, of course. And one long that. And so now on to a little comparison is with uh, the prior year's Vladic, of course, which, as you can see, see that color scheme is quite similar, but except like one's this one light red and this one dark red, kind of like the Scrawl and Stronius of Glatorian Line Bonacle, of course, and also so not much of the like pointy armoring to him, which the previous version kind of did, but. At least it's only for the legs, of which kind of a down um, downer of this one, of which, although I think they, all I think it would have been better if these kind of pieces on the arms, which also should have been on this one as well. But since of course, as one YouTuber said that him like this makes kind of makes him blend in more with the good knights, of course. Or maybe even let there be a, some different armoring thing onto him, on these, it's to make him more prickly evil, of course. And all of the masks, which are quite different for that, but also a little different uh, in face prints, of course, where have more red in the eyes instead of like a little red in the eyes, and a closed mouth instead of an open mouth. And if you look from the back of it, as you see, it's both of which have the arm slashing feature, of course. And also, still having the scorpion shields, and yeah. And as for his feature, is if you turn that knob, it makes the arm swish back and forth, just like the Sir Dareju kind of did. But as for the articulation, of which just about the same as all the other figures are quite do. Although it kind of weakens a bit in posing this one arm and the shoulder, of course, but legs of which also all the same, but yeah. And that is it with Vladek. And on to our ruler, King Matthias, of course. Oh, which, as you can see, that the color scheme, that the main color of blue, just about the same as the previous version, but at least now with a lot of gold all over. That for the legs of which, all of which is quite the same as the previous one, but with the brightish blue, bright gold, like we saw in Sir Jank Denju, of course. But one little difference is that there's a bit of this grayish white for the arms and for the lower arms and upper legs, so which, which King Jacob, the following year, will also have. But yeah. 
and then also the same exact armor uh, kind of plating as the previous version of Matthias also did. And as for the uh, body piece of which, of which quite nicely done, like with some nice sculpting with the lion symbol in it, of course, and then the arms of which. Just the same as all the other figures of this wave, of course, but with a whitish white or grayish white uh, lower arm bit. Quite nice, of course. And as for the sword of which, which you may think, oh wait, oh wait, it's actually the act, just the same as uh, Sir Santis's uh, sword piece, but in gold, which good for great for mocking, of course. And this shield piece of which which was also seen on a couple of minifig system playsets, of course, with the eight studs in the center and of course with the lion symbol etched around it, of course, but yeah. And as for the head and head area, all of which the same as the last year's version, but and same with the crown, of course. Oh what? And as for the back part of which, which is still has a cape on it like the last version did, but look over under and there's two lever or two wheelie features. There's like the last version did. And of course, a wheel. Also, does have that white color just for the back also nice change and also of course you can switch them up and down and you get the swishing back and forth feature just like we have with Sir Jaco and Sir Raskus of this wave of course and so now for a little comparison is with last year's King Matthias like his cape which quite more large than this one but all the I think this kind of works for his kingliness, but a little more so than this one. But I think this one should have been a little, also the same size, of course. And also, not a single bit of brightish blue on this one. Kind of odd, but at least it, I'm alright with that. And also, just like the others of this wave, where the leg armoring is upside down for that. Probably to give it a good breath of fresh air. And sort of which... Which this one, which was the same on as Jayco's that wave, but this one, a, same as a, another one's one, but recolored, which good for that. And also, instead of being like lightish, light gray on this one, it's just grayish white on this one, which good change. And of course, different line symbols for the shields, of course. But the head and crown, all the same, of course. So at least does have a little bit of upgrade to him compared to the previous version, but yeah. And as for the articulation, just pretty much the same as all the other figures of this wave, of course. So for my overall verdict, overall I think these are quite good, cool set. So which, like King Matthias, a good update from the previous version, like what's all well with all the gold armoring to him. But uh, Lord Vladic, uh, not much of an upgrade. Which, since of course the armoring makes him kind of blend in with the good knights, of course. But at least he still had slight bit of evil aesthetics to him. But the versions of them the following year. Which well improved over that, which we'll go for next next or in a future throwback Thursday, but yeah. But as they are, well, still good, quite good for that. And of course, like some good molding for the uh, chest plate or for the bodies, of course, and also at least for this wave alone, Lord Vladic, 
only update was the mask of which which did carry to the one in the following year of course but yeah and of course good change to dark red from light red of course but yeah and so now if y'all still have these these sets from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets i say definitely pick them up ebay bricklink whatever and that is it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching